Hello and welcome. Let's solve this question on vectors in the figure below. PQ, RS is a trapezium. PQ is parallel to SR. Diagonals PR and SQ intersect at X. And PQ is equals to half SR. PQ is equals to Q. And SP is equals to P. Given further that PX is equals to KPR. And SX is equals to HSQ where H and K are constants. So the diagram is there. You can see the diagram. Now part A of the question, find in terms of P and Q, the vectors QR, one mark. Then part two, find in terms of P, Q, H and K, the vectors one, PX, then SX. Then part C, uh, by expressing P, uh, Px in two ways, determine the values of H and K. So those are the questions. So let's go to the first part. The first thing is go through the statements given here. Uh, so this one is a trapezium. And in this trapezium, you have the diagonals PR and SQ. They intersect at X. You can see that. Then this one, uh, PQ. Uh, PQ is equals to a half SR. A half SR. So we are already given that PQ is equals to Q. You can see here PQ is equals to Q. PQ is equals to Q. You can fit that. Then SP is equals to P. SP is equals to P. Now from this, since we are given that PQ is a half SR, PQ is a half SR, that means that SR will be twice, it will be twice PQ, that this will be 2Q, like that. Then you are given uh, this one further, you are going to also see where we are going to use this, H and K are constants, or sometimes referred to as scalars. Part A, find in terms of P and Q, the vectors QR, QR, so QR. So you need to move from Q to R, which direction are you supposed to follow? To move from Q to R, uh, you can follow this direction, Q to S, so this will be given by Q to S, that is QS, then from S to R. That is how you move from Q to R, from, from Q to S, then from S to R. So what is QS? QS is given by, we can start from Q to P. Q to P, you can see we are moving in the opposite direction, so that will be negative Q. Then P, S, we are also moving in the opposite direction of the arrow, P, S. So PS will be negative again. That one will be negative P. Then plus SR. SR will be 2Q. So that is how you get it. So QS is given by these two. So when you look at whatever we have here, we can simplify this. And this one, we will get it by... So you have negative Q plus 2Q, that one will be Q, like terms, negative Q plus 2Q, that will be Q, then minus P. So that is Q minus P, that is QR. Then we go to the next part B, find in terms of P, H, K, uh, P, Q, H, and K, the vectors PX, so PX. Now Px, as you can identify here, we are already given in this statement here. I'll look at the statement you are given here. It is already here. Px is equals to Kpr. So Px, Px is equals to Kpr. We are using for this statement that we are given here. So we therefore need to identify Pr. So this will be given by K, then PR, P 
P to R. How do you move from P to R? P to R. So P R is given by P to S. You move from P to S. Vectors is about direction. P to S then from S to R. So that is how you get vector P R. So you move from P to S then from S to R. So what is P S? P S is negative P. You can see we are moving in the opposite direction of the arrow. Like that. Then SR. SR is a plus 2Q. SR is 2Q. So from there, you simply need to open this bracket and you'll have negative K P plus 2K Q. So that is Px. The next one is Sx part 2. Sx. Where do you get Sx? We already given here. That Sx is equals to Hsq. Hsq. So this one is given by Hsq. So H. Then we need to get vector Sq from this diagram here. SQ. So SQ will be given by how do you move from S to Q? You will simply follow the simplest route. This is a S to P. Then from P to Q. That is how you get vector SQ. Move from S to P, then P to Q. So what is SP? Uh, SP SP is P from the diagram, that is P. Then PQ, P to Q is Q. So multiply everything by H, uh, by H, so you get HP plus HQ. So that is SX. So you through that part, we can go to part C. Uh, by expressing Px in two ways, determine the values of H and K. We're supposed to express Px in two ways. So the first way is already the one that we already have here in B part 1. We already have uh, Px here, so we need to get that. So Px, the first way is here, negative P. Negative KP plus 2KQ. So that is the first expression of PX. Then the other expression, we shall be guided by these. Whatever we have here, SX, shall be guided by these. So how do we move from P to X and ensure that we use SX? Go to the diagram. So... P, S, then S, X. So we shall move from P to S, then from S to X. Remember, in vectors, we already try to use, uh, to make things to be simpler for us. We normally try to use the vectors that are already given there, and the one that you can be able to obtain easily. So that is why I prefer using this root because I already have SX in B part 2. Then I can use SX to get PX. So by moving from P to S, then S to X. So PS, SX. So from P to S, then S to X. So what is PS? What is PS? PS is um, negative P. As you can see, P to S, that is a negative P. We are moving the opposite direction of the arrow. That is negative P. So that is negative P. Plus SX. SX is already given here in part 2. Make this one easier. It is already here. So it is HP plus hq now we have the two expressions we have the two expressions for p 
px, so that one and that one. Now, how do we determine the values of h and k? Since these two expressions, look at these, eh? these, this one, and this one, we are expressing the same thing. We are expressing the same thing here. Both of these are expressing the same thing. So I can take them and equip them. So I'll take the first expression of Px, which is um, negative Kp plus 2Kq. Then I equip the other expression because they're expressing the same thing. That is why I'm equating them. Minus P plus HP plus HQ. That is how you do it. Then, uh, from there, the next thing to do, I want you to identify the vectors containing uh, vector P. Which one contains vector P? This one contains vector P. This one and this one. So you can equate them. So minus KP that one contains vector p is equals to the right hand side we have negative p plus hp then when you divide each term divide each term by vector p you remain with negative k is equals to negative 1 plus h remember i am dividing each term by vector p divide this one by p you get this. Divide this one by P, you get negative 1. Divide this by P, you get H. So this is equation 1. And you can try to simplify this. I can try to simplify it by dividing, because I want to get K. K will be given by uh, 1 minus H. I'm simply dividing every term to get rid of this negative. Divide this one by negative 1. This one by negative 1. This one by negative 1. I get this. So this one is one equation I'm going to use. So from there, I'll simply go to, now I will consider, I will consider uh, there are vectors containing Q, vectors containing Q, simply this one, two, so this one is two KQ is equals to H, Q. Those are the vectors containing Q, this one and this one. So you quit them. Both of them are positive. So from there, you divide each term by Q. You get 2K is equals to H. Dividing everything each term by Q. You remain with that. So now you can see you have two equations. You have this equation and you have this equation. You can use any suitable method to solve those simultaneous equations. For example, um, I will substitute, since this one h is equals to 2k, I will substitute it in this um, equation here. So k is equals to 1 minus h. h is 2k, so that will be 2k. So I'm simply substituting this one with that. So this is k. That is what I've substituted. So bring this to this side, you get uh, 3k is equals to 1. So therefore, k is equals to a third. Then remember, uh, we have this. h is equals to 2k. 2 times k is already obtained. It is a third. So this will give 2 thirds. So h is there. So h is given here and k is given there. So you have found the values of h and k. We go to part D, the last one. Hence, state the ratio in which x divide sq. x divide sq. So we go to the diagram. x divide sq. So what is going to guide us here is uh, this, this vector here, that sx is equals to hsq sx is equals to h sq so sx is equals to h sq and since you have already obtained uh, h 
we just insert it there and that will help us to identify to know the ratio h is two thirds two thirds sq so if you have this now and you go to the diagram you go to the diagram here and you have obtained that sx is equals to two thirds sq sq so that means um, sx sx is equals to two sx is equals to two then the denominator the denominator three refers to the whole of this length from s to to q that is three that will be three so if already this is two s x is two and the denominator represents actually the whole of this distance from s to q then automatically this one should be one so that you may have um two plus one to be three so that already gives us the ratio that x divides sq in the ratio two is to one so therefore the ratio there the ratio the ratio is equals to two is to one as simple as that and that is how you're supposed to solve that question